Tonight, the Jacksonville City Council approved $764,000 for the Cure Violence Program. It uses former convicts to reach out to those at risk for being involved in violent crimes. New at 10, Action News Jack's Amber Kriska, live in Springfield for us. Amber, by this summer, that program should be in place. And members from Cure Violence will be going out into communities like Springfield here. It's one of the 10 most violent communities in Jacksonville. We got kids, you know, in these neighborhoods. Look at these kids that's then got shot. Pat Cranford lives in Springfield, a community that's been identified as one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the city. Too many people getting hurt, getting killed. This summer, Care Violence says it will have trained people going into Cranford's community, downtown, east side, northwest Jacks, Newtown, and Baldwin, all labeled a hot spot for crime. How is Care Violence different from previous gun violence programs here in Jacksonville? Cure violence is really a tip of the spear effort. We're going out and, and tar targeting high risk individuals who have the potential for violence immediately, working with individuals who have credibility with them to go out and get them to stop stop being violent. Damian Cook with Care Violence says he hopes they will be able to stop a crime before it actually happens. We're going to go out and find the thugs that are getting ready to, to do shootings. We're going to send somebody who knows them to find them and talk them out of it. In the newly released Jacksonville assessment report, Marilyn E. Curry, JSO, and the state attorney's office expressed optimism and seemed ready to get to work. While other crime fighting efforts have failed, Cranford hopes this new approach gets results. I want crime to stop all total. And with the state's passing of Marcy's law, which keeps information about crime victims confidential unless the family releases that information, some are concerned it will get in the way of the work Cure Violence hopes to do. Well, the group's response and what they have to say about it all new at 11. Reporting live in Springfield, Amber Kriska, Fox 30 Action News, Jax.